my first guest tonight is a uh, is an animal expert from the Cincinnati Zoo. Please welcome Thane Maynard and his crazy animals. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not shaking your hands, but as you can see, could you pull those quills out? That's one, and this one's still stuck. It, this is a dangerous animal, but it likes to eat bananas. Wait, so this is this is a porcupine. This okay. is a porcupine. That's right. This is a pretty right. But but this isn't the kind the of stupidest treat. thing I've ever said. Well, no, but it's not it's porcupine. <laughs> yeah. But it's a porcupine with a difference. This is not the kind you see in the headwaters of the Hudson, say, in upstate New York. It's the kind you see in the headwaters of the Amazon. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's called a prehensile tail porcupine. They can hang by their tail. And I brought it because I think this might be one of the coolest animals in the world. This it is, is pretty amazing. Though. It is uh, the animal's completely protected by I don't think people can see. These are amazingly That's sharp. And you coated with a deadly way. poison, is no, that right? No, they're, they're not deadly poison, but they do. If you want to... Just say deadly poison. It's cooler to people at home. If they think it's coated... Just say it's coated with a deadly poison. Just say it. Coated with a deadly poison. Liar. <laughs> um, listen, you can pet a porcupine if you go this way. Never go the other way. In case you see oh. one, never go the other way. It is dangerous. So sensual. But these guys invented the safety rope. They can climb in a tree, hang like a possum from their tail, oh, and, and see it. He's if, loving that, yeah. <laughs> He'd be busy. Do that again. Yeah. Uh, so let me understand this. The porcupine's completely protected pretty much everywhere. If were I to attack the porcupine, I would go for the face right well, here. Because no, they've got right some there, serious, like, serious you, rodent teeth. You know, porcupines are big oh, rodents. Okay. But the only, the only vulnerable place is on the belly. You can see right. the belly's kind of soft. And that's why I can put my hand under there unprotected. Thanks by the banana for the banana. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, does this do I do I feed him? Will he Maybe eat this? Like it. Yeah. Huh? He might. Uh -huh. If you don't eat it, it's bad television. <laughs> and bad television. Yeah. Perfect. Wait, huh? Huh? Oh. 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 Yeah. There you go. The reason I wanted to bring him is a lot of times people don't know. What? Did I freak him out? He was well. I was just staring at him uh, crazily. I guess if you saw this, looking at you, <laughs> eat, man. Okay. What's he doing? He's okay. I'm getting. He's I'm... looking out of the world. I'm getting freaked out. Is he okay? He's all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna come on to it. Hi there. All right, let's move on. We should, uh, this animal's creeping me out. We have something else right now. Yeah, let me move him gently. We've got really a neat animal, and I want you... There you go. All right. We're gonna, I'm going to have you be an honorary cat trainer. That's from our Cat Ambassador Program. If you click that, we've got an animal trained to come on command. Okay, here we go. Yeah! This is Mathai. There what? you go. Look at that. That's Mass so cool. Is a serval. And look, a Africa. woman comes out, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go into bars. Like, oh. yeah, exactly. well, uh, tell me about this cat. This cat's uh, very this, beautiful. This is a full-grown serval. Servals live in Africa. They live can in I grass turn the land. cat around so people can really see, Both. or will it scratch my face off? Both. 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 Okay. He is a full-grown and, and, and fully equipped cat with teeth and claws, so you wouldn't want... And it always that. goes towards the clicker, right? Just pretty well, it much... Does. It's trained. It's huh? trained. Just as we show up for dinner, it shows up for the clicker. That is so cool. I feel so powerful with this. I feel like I could wander the jungle with this cat and this clicker. Well, they don't live in the jungle. They live in the grasslands of East and Southern Africa. <laughs> and the grass tends to be about this long, which is their height. And so they have big ears, and they use those ears to... Man, you are no fun. <laughs> Technically, Conan, you couldn't rule the savanna with this cat. Now, burst my bubble. I don't know if you know why they have such big ears. But no, I don't, Zane. Why is that? It's for hearing. They listen for their... Children. Over here. There you Over go. here, Thane. There you go. <laughs> they they right. listen for rodents, not just in the grass, but even underground. They amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, we need to see another animal, I think, soon. Yeah, you bet. What's this uh, cat's name? Mathai. Mathai, you must leave. Perfect. Thank you. I command you. Mathai. <laughs> hey, listen, that was a good move, because this bird and that cat would not get along. Uh, what, is, what is this bird? This, very... is, this is Kermit, and you can see how big his mouth is. He goes all the mouth, way around. That mouth is crazy. He didn't get him to eat this. It's just a little piece of food. I don't know if he'll go for it. Pretend it's alive. Just sort of wiggle it and see if it goes. Oh, look, he's opening his mouth. 
They have a humongous mouth. And they also are very, very well camouflaged. So many animals are able to be hidden. This lives in the forested areas of Australia. And look at how well camouflaged is. It looks just like a, maybe a branch, a dead branch. I see it very clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're not in the, as they say, the jungle. We're here. We're here. Do they have any that have sort of have the markings of a talk show death? No. no. But a fantastic animal. With big eyes and that very big mouth. That mouth is, uh, it looks very, it looks uh, it opens up like a, it looks like an annoyed audience member. <laughs> well, they're, they're they're a wide variety of things, but they are predatory. Why isn't it eating this fresh meat? Did well, you feed it just before the show? No. No, but you it, did, didn't you? You it, forgot and you fed it. It probably doesn't. People like to see an animal eat something. It, well, I know, but it probably doesn't look enough like, say, a, a mouse. Or... <laughs> quiet. Uh, Missy, quiet, Athene. Uh, we have, we have, uh, how much time do we have left? Because I want to see. We should go, we should go to that. We have a, a big animal we're oh, going to bring out. Oh, we do. Yeah. I want you to see it. In fact, I want you to ride on it. Follow me. This big, okay, let's take a look. No, camels come in two varieties, the two-hump kind are from the Gobi Desert. This is the one-hump type from Arabia. And I think you could ride it. If I give you a leg up, well, you well, could get This thing's amazing. How, uh, well, tell me about this. Is it true that they store, what do they store inside the hump? Fat, not water. They won't splash. When fat? They <laughs> well, yeah, no, they really? store fat because they can later metabolize You should cheat out this way. There That's TV. There you go. There you go. Uh -huh. there you go. <laughs> they, uh, this is the dromedary camel that comes from North Africa. I'm looking at myself. Okay, good. And you're looking good. And this is, tell me about this camel, uh, it's, it's... They come from fat. North Africa, okay. Arabia. The hump, as on all camels, is to store fat so they can survive long periods of time Perfect. without water and without food. Okay. But they're specially adapted, those great big feet. Yeah, look at those feet. Those, those are like... Are so, they're like snowshoes, except for they're for the sand. Right. So they won't sink in. All right, and I'm going to try and get on this you thing. Bet. How do I I'll do it? I'll hand up. Oh, really? Here we go. Okay, all right. This is kind of... <laughs> Here you go. All right. Well, I'm going to get killed. All right. Ready? One, and two, one, three. two, three, go! a lot of fat right now is that yeah. what you're saying this is a one hump that's one reason it's such an awkward ride but but this is a female are you supposed to sit forward is that am i sitting you, you and what does this do is this a does this control well, the animal the anyway no no that doesn't control it you'd control it like a horse mostly with your legs yeah. it's broken yeah. <laughs> all right this I is in fun right there if you were crossing the desert you could cross up to 50 miles in a day on an animal like this and you never could in a human-made vehicle in the right sand. right so a, a great creature Perfectly adapted to live in dry climate. That bagel's for you, thanks. That's his favorite food. No, you want some? Ah, uh, that's okay. Thank you. No, uh, we're going to take a break. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> they wet got, myself. Specialized uh, eyelids, specialized nostrils, specialized lips to keep the sand out of their face. Incredible. Built Too much sand. information, Thane, but thank you very much. This is uh, incredible being here. Thank you for bringing all your great an uh, animals. His name's Thane Maynard. I'm going to ride out now. Dweezlin' on my zapper coming. We'll be right back.